one of the things, of course, any time you hear about a new James Bond, you always associate some kind of exotic location. And the exotic location, or at least one of them for this film, was Thailand. Mm -hmm. Now, what sort of circumstances were you working in there? <laughs> Uncomfortable ones. We started off uh, in southern Thailand, uh, shooting on a little island. Uh, the nearest airport was a town called Phuket. And two hours from there was a town called Pang Na. And one hour from Pang Na by boat was this little island where we shot. Our hotel was in Pang Na. I say hotel, you know, in the loosest terms. I had a room that one step down from this room was what they laughingly called the bathroom, which consisted of a hole in the ground with two footsteps above it. There was a sink, but there were no taps. But there was a shower above the thing, the hole in the ground. And there was also a bucket that you filled from the shower and you threw it down the hole in the ground to flush it. And you had to jump back very quickly, otherwise it came back and hit you. And so I found I had a very good system. I could sit on the hole in the ground in the morning and turn the shower on and shave. And I couldn't read the paper because that became soggy. Uh, <laughs> and I could shampoo my hair. And I could think about the day's dialogue. And Cubby Broccoli uh, had the same sort of setup. And he found that he could put a broom in a very convenient place and sweep the room out at the same time. <laughs> it was not one of nature's uh, choicest spots to film in. It looks beautiful on the screen. It's absolutely extraordinary. Nobody will ever believe that we suffered any discomfort whatsoever. Now, before you got there, what did Cubby Broccoli and the, uh, the location people, uh, did they prepare you for this at all? Oh, yes, they, they went down and they painted the hotel <laughs> so that we could find it. Uh, and we had our own catering team down there who looked up because we we're an English film unit. And English crews must have tea and buns at 10 o'clock in the morning and bacon and eggs at 6 and steak and kidney pie at 6 o'clock in the evening. And we had all that. Everything, no, everything was very nice there in the way, and we had a lot of laughs, and Cubby kept us jollied along. Then we moved from there to Hong Kong, which is very civilized, and, and a marvelous hotel of the peninsula there. The, our problem was that we were coming into monsoon season, and when you're making films, the sun has to shine, you know, because it's all got to look lovely and glamorous, and of course the sun didn't shine too often. And so we'd sit around waiting for the sun to come up from behind clouds and for then for the sun to dry the ground that was sopping, was sobbing wet. Then we moved to Macau, uh, which was also very nice. They had very good crap tables and marvelous casinos. And so Covey and I spent a little of the budget there. We didn't spend any of the UA's money on it. It was our <laughs> own. And then we went back to Bangkok to shoot for another five weeks. And through Bangkok, there is a river, the name of which I do not know, but they have canals off this river, which are called Klongs. And we could judge the way the tide was flowing every morning, at 7 o'clock when we went out to location, by one particular dead dog that got fatter and flowed further down river. So we knew that it was moving at 500 yards a day because of the, now into this river, lead steps from all these houses on stilts, which looks beautiful and romantic, you know, and you say, oh, what a marvelous place to visit. But they come down those steps in the morning and they clean their teeth and they shampoo their hair, and if they submerge in the water, you know what they're doing. And so did that dead dog, because he drank some of the water. I unfortunately went in that river a couple of times, which uh, resulted in painful injections of gamma globulin, I think it's called, to stop hepatitis. You're lucky I that lived, that I lived through it. Well, on, on a location like that, you're lucky that that's the worst that happened to you, I'm sure. Did well, anyone get hurt on this picture? Um, yes, I did. Cubby Broccoli took a lot of money off me at Backgammon. <laughs> I hope the wounds heal quickly. And Roger Moore, thank you very much for talking with us thank today you. at Pinewood Studios.